to my channel and thank you so much for watching today we're going to an event it's a charity event a dog show i think it will take us about call it two hours just to get there so it's gonna be a little road trip for us and yeah and michael over there he's not in the mood at the moment because i have to wake him up early but yeah Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head Is me and you Both speed and my heart is pacing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true Guys, we're here now at the guide dog compound. Alright, guys, we're here now in the event. This is the uh, guide dogs compound, and this is the place where they train all the dogs. It's just good to know and good to see how they train all the dogs. How so? Yeah, we're gonna have a look around and check out the activities around. All right, see you in a bit. Hi mom, mom is a supporter of a guide dog. So who do you sponsor mom? A dog called Sunny. Called Sunny, that's so cute. Is it a puppy or adult dog now? Not sure. Not sure. So we're gonna have a look around. Go inside now to the training area. We're gonna check it out how they train the dog. It's really exciting. Alright. Move down to the entrance while I'll move around. Thank you. Dog, look at that. They're all friendly, Michael. Hello. Hello. Oh, this. Oh, there's a sign there. Guide dogs, this is one of three kennel blocks. Um, guide dog centers on 25 what? acres. At any point wow. in time, there can be you know, anywhere up to 100 dogs at guide dog centers. So the facility's got a uh, pretty significant capacity to take dogs. This yeah. little area in the entranceway to the kennel. Uh, it's important that we give the dogs a health check every day. So that's something that happens at Guide Dog Centre each day. The dog's put onto the bench and he's given a, a check. Uh, Labradors are quite uh, prone to having, you know, ear infections uh, and problems with their eyes. So we need to check their eyes. We need to check their ears. Um, guide dog puppies and guide dogs that are in training don't get any bones like you might feed your own dog. So we need to check their teeth every day and make sure their teeth are in condition. We need to check their skin as well, so the skin around their belly. Uh, check their coat condition, make sure it's okay. Give them a bit of a brush every day. If anybody's got Labradors, everybody knows they shed an awful lot, so giving them a brush every day will make them more comfortable. This is where this dog sleep. Every day. So move on okay. down, folks. There's quite a few of you, so. They have name tags, the description. So you'll see that. Um, but you'll see that each of the dogs has a, a board in front of its kennel with its name on it. Um, so that we put the dog into a, the same spot every day, it gets used to living here. Each of the dogs has a bed, each of the dogs has a water bowl. Give the dogs Nylabone to chew on as well. It's a very good chewing treat for the dogs uh, and it doesn't harm their, their teeth and it doesn't harm their digestive system. So each of the dogs has its name. So you can see Rita. Toileting to establish better toileting behaviours if the dog's toileting overnight. But it also can be quite calming for the dog as well. Because the dogs are taught to associate it with being a calm spot, if we've got a dog that's a little bit anxious, crate training or getting the dog into its crate can actually help to calm the dog down if it's a bit anxious as well. So it's used for behaviour management and toileting management. Between 200 and 250 puppies born as part of the breeding program every year. I think there's about 240. There was 230 born last year. But now it's mostly labs or lab, lab cross retrievers. Yeah. I think with anxiety disorders, a whole range of different things benefit from a dog. Some of the dogs go into institutional settings as therapy dogs, they'll go in um, to uh, you know, aged care facilities. 
uh, quite a lot of them end up in schools. Um, as uh, therapy dogs, quite a few recently have been in schools. There's a special program which some of you might have read about or seen on the news, uh, a court therapy program. So, yeah, New South Wales Victim Services. That's what they do. So this is a therapy dog team. So that dog is a therapy one. There you go, that's the other dog. Bye! Hello! Hello, you two! You're beautiful. A nice Labrador is behind me. There you go. Ooh, it's all, all of the dogs here are for therapy, isn't it? Uh, no, not all of them. Those three down the end, they're all therapy dogs. And okay. This one here, they're all in different. here from guide dogs how are you Daniel thank you very much I'm very well I heard earlier that you have more than 200 dogs in here yes that's right and um, at what age are they ready to go like they're ready to be um, to be out there and helping other people it's usually around 18 months old 18, 18 months to 20 old. months old ah, okay um, is there any website that we can have a look or visit absolutely you can see the website if you just www.guidedogs.com.au That's the website. So that's the website to go Ooh, to. You can learn lots about guide dogs on the website. Yeah. You can see lots of stories yeah. uh, about individual dogs yeah. too. Like how to sponsor a dog. Absolutely. So there's lots of ways that you can provide support. Yeah. Uh, either through donations or dog sponsorship. Yeah. Even think about leaving a gift in your will too. Yeah. Lots of the um, lots of the funding that's raised by guide dogs is actually comes from gifts in wills. Okay, yeah. Um, so about two thirds of the funding of guide dogs yeah. has come from big wills. Um, but there's lots and lots of different ways to different support. Yeah. You're a nice young family. You might even think about taking a little guide dog puppy. Yeah, thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daniel, for your time. Thank you. Bye bye. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah. you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head it's me and you both speed and my heart is racing but i'm not sure nice oh it's a sour bear it's a sour and then there's a sweet taste no <laughs> Michael, share! Oh.
ice cream. Yeah, Do you know what Michael will give that? It's grandma. No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my own in the bag. Mom, this is a private sector, it's not a government sector. No. So they need donation and they need sponsorship. They do, yes. Sticky it fingers from his sweeties. Wow. Okay, wow. <coughs> Why? Because it's sticky. It's being given to a family. Oh, wow. Yeah. So for all those house, family mom, they got it as a free or they need to pay? No, you, you give it, you're giving it for free. Yeah. You're allowed to have it for one mouth. year. For one year. And uh, oh, get that. it used to as many things as you can. Children. Yeah. No, why not? People. It's like poster and then it goes back here again? Yes, and then it comes back here at one year old, gets assessed. It's just yeah. to be a guide dog, yeah, well, therapy dog, therapy dog. Nice. Oh, right, so they can be a pet as well. If they don't make it, then they Oh, really? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, did you say that? I didn't hear that, Mum. You were outside at the time. Oh, okay, I was outside, okay. They've got a list of 200 people at the moment waiting for one set to come Oh, heads. wow. A lot of people. Think... The list is always full, but you can <coughs> put your name on the list uh, yeah. on the website. All right, okay. So your name will be in the queue. He wow. said he would put his name on the list now. Oh, that was okay. That was for people in the Fairfield area that wanted to um, become part of that new program where uh, Humboldt. Uh -huh. Where basically what the dog stays with you all night and then you drop it off at a park somewhere where these people are uh -huh. and then you pick okay. it back up again at night and yeah. take it on. Okay. okay. This is a lot of interest to be at the moment. <coughs> a lot of people are in that program are like the lovers and things dropping you know, kids off at school and pick them up because the times work out about right for it. Hmm. Okay. Alright guys, it's been a nice day here at you Guide Dog and the event is really nice. We get to know dogs. Guys, if you are interested to help the Guide Dogs, please visit their website and you'll find the link on the description down below. You can sponsor the dog or you can donate as well.